Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video today, and this video is going to be in response to a video I just saw from a uh, YouTuber that I watch regularly, uh, it's Zero, over at Review Zone HD, and uh, in his video, which you can see in the link below, um, he talked about something that was in the news today, and uh, basically Nintendo uh, decided that it was going <laughs> it was going to now be placing... Uh, so 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 when I, whenever a, a let's player or a YouTuber pl puts out a video with their content in it, say Mario, so so say my the let's play I did of Mario uh, a couple months back, whenever a video like that comes onto YouTube, instead of you being able to place ads to gain revenue on that video, now Nintendo is going to be placing their own ads so that they gain revenue instead. Now Zero uh, made a video. Uh, and it had kind of a two-part deal to it, and I'm going to talk about both of them. Uh, the first part was basically about the news I just said and his opinion on it. Well, I'm going to give my opinion too, because I'm a very opinionated son of a bitch. Um, so basically, the way I view a video game and the way I've always viewed this YouTube uh, Let's Play review uh, world that I've become a part of, or was a part of, uh, for a long time, the way I've always viewed that is that... Well, as an analogy, imagine you purchase a video camera, okay? Sony, which is the brand of video camera that I have, they created this camera, all right? Right now, I am using this camera to create content that you will not, you, you'll, you're viewing on YouTube right now. And before this video, whether or not I decided to be uh, productive enough to place the ads on, that, uh, on this video... You're now seeing ads that go into my bank account. They, they, they generate revenue that I am going to gain. So what I've done is I purchased a product from Sony. I'm using that product to create content and I'm placing it online. Does Sony have the right to come along and say, you're using our video camera. We're going to place ads on your channel because you're using a Sony video camera to create the content. No, they don't. This is a product. This is a $60 piece of software. Okay? I use Sony Vegas, which I paid for, to create the content that you're watching right now. Again, Sony Vegas does not have the right to place their ad on my channel. This is a product that performs like... It's a game that performs like a piece of software... It is a piece of... I, you know, I'm getting so angry right now. I purchased this with my own money. I paid $60, which is way more than this is worth, to be honest with you. It's not worth $60. This game is worth $40. Okay? And what I'm doing is I'm creating a very unique experience with my voice behind it. I'm using my time. I'm using my effort to make a product and placing it on YouTube. Now, whether or not I get paid for it or not, I don't really care. But the fact that Nintendo wants to say, you're not going to, you don't have the option, we're going to go ahead and take that money. You didn't do anything for this, this what, what you're placing your ad on. This is what you did. You made this game. You got your money from me. That's how you did it. I'm now using this product to create a video, an experience for the viewer. That's not yours. How is this legal, is what I'm wondering. How in the world, now I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up on the all the underlying factors here, but from what it said in the article, Nintendo can now do this with anything that has uh, any of their content in it. Any of their content in it. Music. Video. Character art. I don't know. I mean, what you know? What if I wanted to flash Mario on the screen right now? Would you be able to, you know, take that and and you know, would would I be void of any revenue from that because you decided that Mario? Oh no 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 no, that's that's mine. I understand that. That is my game though. This is not yours, Nintendo. You created it. I purchased it from you. You have no right to this. Period. That includes what plays on my TV screen. That includes what my hop hog records, and that that includes what I talk over. That is my product now. You see what I'm saying? The video as a whole was my time, my effort, and it's not yours. Despite what is on the screen. 
I mean, it blows me away how they could get... I mean, fair use dictates that as long as the... And this isn't... For gaming, this is different. If you were to use, like, a show like The Office and you were to place just the episode of The Office on YouTube, of course, you're taking a very fixed experience and you're placing it on, on YouTube. And we, that's wrong. Because, yeah, you may have purchased that product, but I guess it, it, it's a very fixed product which takes away from revenue. This, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. Playing these games, talking about these games, it generates more revenue. I would, I, I would gain to say, I, I would say it generates revenue for the game company because I can't tell you, and I know you guys, I, I have documented freaking proof of this. I have so many freaking messages, so many comments in my inbox, and what do they say? They say, you know what? I never would have played Dark Souls if it weren't for you. I never would have played Dark Souls if I hadn't seen you play it. I thought it was too hard of a game. I thought it was going to suck. Dark Souls made so much damn money off of my YouTube channel and, you know, Epic Name Bros YouTube channel and every other badass Dark Souls uh, player and Let's Player and commentator and reviewer who reviewed that game well, they, they gained a lot of money because people wanted to play it for themselves. You can't say that about a TV show because you can't watch a TV show online and say, you know what, I want to watch that for myself because you've already done it. Okay, but you can watch a few episodes of a Let's Play and go, you know what, I'm getting into that. Another proof that this, this works, I mean, go to a, any Let's Play on YouTube and look at the first three episodes and look at the amount of views that they have compared to the last three episodes. Yeah, a lot of that comes down to just, you know, people becoming disinterested in the Let's Play, but also a lot of that comes from, okay, I've, saw, I've seen the first hour and a half of the game, I think I'm going to buy it instead. Okay? Look at all these indie pro projects that get so much notoriety. How do they get it? They get it through YouTube. They get it through the internet. They get it through people on forums saying, hey, this is a badass game. Check out this video. This guy, you know, just totally destroying it. People being competitive. That's what games are. They're a product that people use. And it's a product that I have used for many years to gain a small amount of income. Okay? That is my right. Now, this gets into my second point, which is people, you know, people bitching and moaning. And there's a, there's a YouTuber that I know that bitches and moans about people who gain money from YouTube. All I have to say is this is a job. Okay? If you're doing this, and it's just like Zero says in his video, except he says it a little bit more nicer, not a little bit more nicely than I'm going to put it. I have nothing against anybody who does this for fun. Okay, there, there, there's nothing wrong with this being a hobby. And like he said, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, if you're only doing this for money, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I've told that to my buddy Jason, Anakin. You're doing it for the wrong reason. If that's all you're doing is looking for money. And I do. I, I do this as a hobby. I just, I've always liked recording my own gameplay. But you know what? There is a point where you do it for fun, okay? And you and when you do it for fun, you can have a viewer base that watches anything you put out. It could be the shittiest game in the world. It could be the oldest game in the world. It could be some random ass game that people have done a million Let's Plays of. They're going to watch your video. But then there's people like me, okay? And I am the majority here, definitely, Okay? where I have to strive to get that certain amount of views, or I did. I haven't done it in a long time because I have, you know, I had, I had Sam and I had, you know, a lot of things came up and I just had, don't have time for it anymore. But there is a point where you have to make this a job to succeed. And if you're doing it for fun and you're busting your balls, which I know firsthand you have to do to get, you know, to, 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 to make this work, Okay, you sit down, first of all, you get all the shit plugged up. I mean, it's a shit ton of wires, at least it used to be. It's, it's a little bit more manageable now. You get it plugged into a decent rig, okay? The hop hog costs $150, $180. The HDTV, whatever you paid for that, maybe you're using your mom's, fuck it. You got your console, whatever console you're going to be recording. You got your rig that costs eight, dollars $900 for a decent, a decent computer, Okay, then you got the software, which is outrageous. Most people pirate that. Okay, and then you've got your mic, you know, you got your, your blue Yeti, 
yeah, that costs about $200, $170, $150. That costs a lot of money. Then the most precious and most expensive commodity to myself is the one that you have to have the most of, and that is time. Because 20% of a let's play is sitting it on your ass playing the game and talking over it. Okay? That's, that's, that's the 20%. The other 80% is painstakingly putting it together, making sure it looks good. You, can't, you don't just take the file, throw it in, and go upload, which is the mistake of most people on YouTube, which is why so many people just stop when they, you know, they're like, oh, I want to do this, and then they stop three episodes in because they realize, oh, shit, this is not what I thought. No, it's not fun at a, at a point. It's fun when you want to see the reactions of people when you first start a Let's Play. But you know what? When people don't watch your shit, when people say bad, negative things about it, it's hard to put that effort in to, to, to doing this. So then you get your shit, you dump it in, you color correct it, you, 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 you magic sharpen it, you take out the interlace, you take out the, the, the back rendering... You know, you make sure your sound's synced up, you cut that out, you pray to the dear Lord Jesus that some shit didn't happen while you were recording, and, you know, you didn't get the sound of a baby pooping in the background, or, or your, sh your, your audio didn't desync, you pray that that doesn't happen, because when it does, you're back at square one, bub, you're doing it again. Hour and a half, two hours of gameplay, that's your life, that's four hours now, not including all the shit you just went through to try and fix all the desynced audio, Okay? Wow, that's just half of it. Then you got to worry about the render time. You got to make sure your computer doesn't just go take a shit right in the middle of the render because then you got to do it again. That could take up to three hours if you're doing 1080p HD video. Then you got to upload the fucker. Then you got to think, oh, wait, wait, is my internet provider going to be fast enough to do this? Or am I going to be sitting here for seven, eight hours waiting for this thing to upload? No, you got to pay extra for internet, just like he says in his video. You got to pay for the good shit. Okay? You gotta pray that a cable company, Time Warner, Cox Cable, any of these fuckers are right beside your house and willing to dig under your house to get to you so you can get that, that 15 up speed. Oh, shit. I can't wait for Google fucking fiber. And then you sit and you wait for that to happen. And while that's going on, then you're wondering, okay, let me make sure that I have all the titles correct, the description's correct, it tells what's going on in the video, I have a link I have to put in, in, in the description, let me see what tags are going to be popular right now. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me figure out what tags are going to make my video pop up to the top. And then after that, let me go in and let me set all of my settings so that I get paid properly for the content. So that I have an extra commercial here at this break. Or here at this break. Or I have three commercials in the middle, which I don't do personally. That's a lot of... You know what that sounds like? It sounds like just what it is. It's a job. It's a job that you either love it and you do it because you enjoy it or you don't like it you turn you get turned off by it and you're doing it just for the money which is pointless to me because I'm not making enough money to you know to be doing that if somebody's paying me you know 20 bucks an hour and they're like yeah I'd be pumping shit out all day it would be a 14 hour job for me it'd be the best job I ever had I'm like hell yeah I know I'm getting paid but me I go out at midnight I buy Gears of War 3 and I'm like, all right, here we go. Well, guess what? Everybody else and their damn mom decided on that night to make that game the, the, the quintessential let's play for the start of their channel. And now it's oversaturated. There's so many let's players out there. There's so many just gameplay creators. And with the invention, as he said again in his video, of this little share button, it's going to be right up here on our, on our PS4s. Uh, Boom! Little Orphan Annie! She could send in her, you know, Viva Pinata gameplay that she thought was badass, but nobody else is going to like it. And you're going to sort through all that shit. And you know where you're going to be? Past Orphan Annie's Viva Pinata, past Billy's, you know, triple kill, you know, in Call of Duty. You're going to be right here at the bottom or maybe in the middle on the fifth page of YouTube and nobody's ever going to see you. But you know what? Nintendo's going to see you. And they're going to put an ad on your video. Just to rub that salt in the wound. Just get it right in there really good. They're going to gain money on your fifth page video. When you get three views, they're going to gain the money. Not you. They're going to gain it. Because they're fucking stupid as shit. They're messing up their whole enterprise. They're creating consoles without content on them already. And they're just, they're, they're dying. Because it's a bunch of old ass men sitting at an old ass table going, Hey, 
I got an idea. Let's just make four games. and Let's just make everybody pay a dollar to port all their virtual console games. That'll be a good way to gain a quick buck. And, uh, hey, let's make another DS rendition. And for the next three 3DS renditions, we're going to keep that fucking second dual analog stick. Fuck that shit. We're going to make them wait till the fourth one when three analog sticks is the big shit. And then we're going to add the second one in because that's what they want and they'll pay for it. And you know what? Fuck it. We're going to make more Pokemon. They've got a Pokemon. You know those little things you can go on and create your own South Park character? They got that now. I'm, I'm sure. Okay? They sit there and, they, and they've got a new Pokemon. All right. Make something that looks a little bit similar to that. That's his evolution. I am excited for the new Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. They've, they've hooked me. I'm hooked. Okay? They got me back when I was a kid. But you can't get me now, okay? The best thing these fuckers ever did was they got rid of the damn uh, jiggle motion. You know, the motion, we Motion Plus, and they just stuck with the normal shit. They couldn't even do that. They made a controller that's too big for my ass, okay? My son, no matter how old he is, he's never going to be able to hold this shit. Not until he's five. He's going to be like, daddy, daddy. He, I mean, he can't reach. His finger comes to there. That's the, beside the point. When I was his age, I was playing Mario. I was, I was, I had my little controller in my hand. These bastards have got me all worked up, and it's one in the morning, and I've got a wedding rehearsal tomorrow, and I'm pissed off now, and now I'm not going to be able to sleep. And the office finale was tonight, so I'm really emotional as it is because that was one of my favorite shows ever in the world. Good night, guys. Check out reviews on HD in the comments. Later.